Tabitha Tudors, a 13-year-old schoolgirl, lived with her parents, Deborah and Bo, in East Nashville, Tennessee. The ever-smiling, lively girl was the light of her parents' life, and she had a special bond with her mother. She was also an excellent student and loved by her teachers and friends at Bailey Middle School. Her sudden disappearance came as a horrifying surprise as none of the people involved in her life ever noticed any signs of trouble in the teen. The morning of April the 29th, 2003 was a normal one for the Tudor's household. Tabitha's mother, who worked at a local elementary school's cafeteria, left for work at 6am. Meanwhile, her father, a lumber company trucker, left sometime around 7am. However, before leaving, he briefly spoke to Tabitha while waking her up. Tabitha was supposed to begin walking to the bus stand at around 7.50am to catch the bus to her school. Her bus was supposed to pick her up at 8am and witnesses saw her walking towards it. However, she never got on the bus and never arrived at Bailey Middle School. When she did not come home that afternoon, the Tudor's parents called the school and were informed she had been absent the entire day. They reported her missing at 6pm. The police were immediately informed, and even though they carried out a massive door-to-door -door search of the nearby areas, the teen was nowhere to be found. When authorities examined Tabitha's bedroom right after she disappeared, they noticed a note in the teen's handwriting. According to the show, the note read TDTNMTL, but the police soon ruled it out as a clue. Since her disappearance, the police received hundreds of tips and tried to follow up on each of them. The police initially considered Tabitha a runaway. However, a boy who lived in the neighbourhood said he saw Tudors get into a car with a black man, who then drove away. Tracking dogs brought in by the police were able to pick up her scent along the route the boy described. Tabitha's sister reportedly had a boyfriend who matched the description of the man driving the car. In October, a trucker reported seeing a girl who matched Tabitha's description in Linton. She also was reportedly seen by a hotel clerk in Linton. However, the sightings were not confirmed and Tabitha remains missing. The police did mention that the considerable time difference between the teen's disappearance and the report put the officers at a significant disadvantage. The show mentioned that in the initial days of the investigation, authorities received a tip from another Bailey Middle School student who claimed he had seen Tabitha walking towards the bus stop. However, he claimed that instead of the bus, she got into a red car driven by an unidentified male. Unfortunately, the police could never follow up on this tip, and it was never confirmed. As Tabitha Tudors remains missing to this day, it is unclear whether she passed away. However, her family has never given up hope, and the investigation into her disappearance is still active. During their investigation, the police did not leave out any avenues and, according to the show, even considered Tabitha to be a victim of foul play. Yet, they had no evidence to back up their suspicion. Determined to reach a conclusion, they kept re-interviewing people from the neighbourhood and following up on old tips and leads, but nothing seemed to work out. Reports suggest that during the initial stages of the investigation, the authorities considered this to be a case of a possible runaway. On the other hand, Tabitha's family maintained that the teen had not run away from home. They started their own campaign to find Tabitha and began spreading the word about the teen's disappearance, 
hoping for a lead. The show also stated that one of Tabitha's cousins allegedly met a man in her tattoo parlour who said that he saw a car pick up the missing girl on the day of her disappearance. However, the man claimed that the car was green and not red, like the school-going boy had stated. Unfortunately, even this tip remained unconfirmed, as the police found nothing while following it up. The FBI got involved in the case about seven years after the disappearance of Tabitha Tudors and offered a substantial reward. The National Centre for Missing and Exploited Children also released an age-progressed picture of Tabitha to make the search easier. After the announcement of the reward, several possible sightings were reported, but they were all ruled out. In 2020, authorities reported that they had received several fresh tips about the missing teen and believed that she might have been abducted and forced into prostitution. They searched a property in Hickman County and even mentioned that they were looking into two individuals nicknamed Goldie and Frank Nitty, who were suspected of being involved in Tabitha's disappearance. However, Tabitha's mother, who still believes her daughter is alive, stated it's hurtful to hear harsh things like that said. That she could be out there prostituting and doing drugs. To this date, the family has held onto the hope that Tabitha is still alive and will come back home safely. Although her mother knows that there is a possibility of her death, she refuses to give in to the thought and believes that her daughter is still out there somewhere. However, the family is preparing for the worse. As Deborah Tutors states, If she's gone, at least I want to know where she's at. If she's passed, I just want to put her to rest, so I can have a place to go to. What are your thoughts on what happened to Tabitha? Please leave your comments below.